Hi, Vince Math, it must be Maths by Yamini. Welcome again to the world of Maths by Yamini. So in the series of solve the best question before examination and the most tentative question, this question is a question of function, a must question for CAT, JAT, IFT and PGDPA. I would say please pause the video and try to solve this question. I hope you have paused the video and you have question solved. So this is one of the most basic and conceptual question. We have one condition of a function given. We have a value of f1, f2, f3, f4 are given and we need to find a greater value f100. Whenever we need to find a greater value or the bigger value of a function, this must be a periodic function. Periodic means after some values, it is going to repeat itself. So I would say whenever you have a functions required for a larger value, this must be a periodic function. Now, how we are going to solve this question? Let's check. We have fx plus 2, fx minus 2 equal to fx. So we can write we have fx minus 2 minus ffx plus fx plus 2 equal to 0. This one is hardcore substitution function. We have a gap of 2 and 2. So let's put x is equal to x plus 2 in the first equation. Say the equation is a. So we got fx. If we put x is equal to x plus 2 minus fx plus 2 plus fx plus 4 equal to 0. Say it is b. Now again put x is equal to x plus 2. So this becomes fx plus 2 minus fx plus 4 plus fx plus 6 equal to 0. Say this one is c. Add b plus c. When we add b plus c, this one is cancel out. These two are the cancel out. So we left with fx plus fx plus 6 equal to 0. So our outcome should be fx plus fx plus 6 equal to 0. Now if we substitute x is equal to x plus 6 because gap is 6, we get fx plus 6 plus fx plus 12 equal to 0. So say this one is d, this one is e. Now we need to subtract these two values. If we subtract, this one is cancel out, we can say fx plus 12 equal to fx because minus f equal to 0. So this one is our final outcome. fx equal to x plus 12, it means it's a period of 12, which is quite easy to find. Whenever you have a functions of AP or the simple plane function, you just need to put x equal to x plus 2 because gap is after 2. Then x plus 2, just need to add or subtract, you will get a value. Then a gap of x plus 6, we need to put x equal to x plus 6 and the add or subtract, you will get a final period of the function. So here the period is 12. What do you mean by the 12? Here the period is f1 is actually equal to f13 is equal to f25 and so on. It means we can say the x is actually the remainder divided by 12. When we divide by the 12, the remainder is 1. Similarly, if we need to find the f100, which one is actually equal to f4, where the 4 is a remainder divided by 12. Or you can say f4 is equal to f16, equal to f28 and so on, you will get the f100. The period of 12 means we need to divide by 12 and get the remainder to find the smallest value. So we have to find f100, which is equal to f4, do the period of 12, period of 12 means cyclicity of 12, we need to divide 100 by 12 to get a remainder of 4. So the f100 is actually equal to f4. Which one is equal to 4? So the answer of this question is actually 4. So this is quite a basic question. This type of question you can expect in your examination. First of all, you need to write a plain simple equation taking everything in the LHS. Put x is equal to x plus 2. Again 2 because you have a 3 functions. Either do summation or subtract. Get a single 2 functions condition. In the two functions condition, again put x is equal to x plus 6 and got the period. Here the period is 12, that is the cyclicity is 12. We need to divide 100 by our period of the cyclicity, which one is actually equal to f4. So the answer of this question is 4. Quite a basic but conceptual question for examination like CAT, JAT, IFT, PGDBA and other higher aptitude examination. So I would say intact this learning till your examination and give your best. And let's crack the examination. Myself, Amiye, God bless you. Happy learning and bye-bye.